Hey guys, David Hazard here from Hazard's Gaming, and today I'm going to be doing my first of many movie reviews. Yesterday, I went to go and see the new Deadpool movie. I absolutely freaked. I am the biggest nerd you guys could ever meet, and when it comes to Deadpool, that's up there. Now, I'm going to give you guys a few pros and cons of this movie and a summary, so if you guys do not like spoilers, stop right now, because I'm going to be spoiling it. So, I'm going to start with my pros. There's way more pros than cons because this movie was amazing. So, first off, it was extremely gory and that is my shit. You straight up got to see him cut off a guy's head and kick it at somebody else's face. Come on. There was so much gore in this movie and I loved it. Next thing, he was an absolute pervert and he always is. We know this. But he is such a pervert and it's hilarious. You, you can't get enough of Deadpool. Deadpool is amazing. And the next one will be, is it's the same Deadpool that we've always known and loved. And if you guys aren't Deadpool fans, that's okay. You don't even have to be a Deadpool fan to enjoy this movie. You don't have to be a superhero fan. You just don't have to be anything just to enjoy this movie. But it, it, for those of you diehard Deadpool fans, this is the same Deadpool we've known and loved. From, you know, the comics all the way to recent games. It's just Deadpool. This, this is Deadpool. And it's hilarious. You you laugh throughout the entire movie. This movie was just... I was laughing the whole time. I bet the people around me wanted to punch me square in the mouth because I just could not stop laughing. And Stan fucking Lee. Um, oh, I can't get enough of the guy. Of course, as many of you know that do watch Marvel movies, he appears in every single one of his movies in one way or another, always in little parts usually. And in this movie, he was actually um, announcing strippers coming out of the strip club onto the um, stage. It was hilarious. Just that's not Stanley's thing, and he was just he was there, and it was it made my day. And the blind bitch from the comics is back. She is actually living with Deadpool while he's in the middle of his little thing going on there. Which I thought was amazing how they actually put her in there. Because usually in movies, they like to get rid of a lot of um, the things that actually do go on. But, okay. And the suit. The suit looks amazing. I think in some parts, like the face part of the mask, I think that's actually digitally enhanced. So that the um, eye movements and everything, they look a lot better. But that was, I think they did a really good job on that. And thumbs up to you guys. And so many references to different heroes. It was just, it was definitely worth the money that I spent on it. And it wasn't a lot. But I will say that I did buy a mask and a huge figurine. So I did spend a little bit more money than I thought. And I I did like how they did reference um, Wolverine. But this is also going to go into my cons because that's the end of my pros. There was no Wolverine in the movie. Which was very upsetting because... Deadpool and Wolverine, they're like fire and ice, man. It's just, de they hate it. Well, no, Deadpool kind of loves Wolverine, but Wolverine, he, de Deadpool really pisses him off. So, you know, I really wish I could have seen something like that in the movie. But I'm I'm okay with Colossus. <laughs> you know, Colossus was in the movie, and I really enjoyed the two of them, you know, going against one another. Deadpool in one part actually starts, like, trying to beat up Colossus. And since Colossus is made of pure steel, um, Deadpool punched him, broke his arm, punched him with the other one, broke his other arm, tried to kick him, broke his leg. He's just crawling hopping on one foot then it was then colossus just punches him and he goes flying uh oh he also tried to punch him in the nuts and it was just and he goes oh man he's like um uh did he say i feel bad for your wife or what i don't know but it was bad <laughs> but the one con that i really that's the only real con that i have is that death was not in the movie and if you guys read the old comics, like one of some of the original Deadpool comics from like I think, I think he's been around for 25 years. Um, the one of the first comics he's um has these this love relationship with Death, you know, like the Grim Reaper, but she's a, it's a female in his little world, and he actually dies, but then comes back, of course, because of his regenerative powers. Um. And he has this little relationship with death, and she loves him. He always 
kills people, of course, and brings people to her. And they w- she wishes she could be with him, but they know they can't really be together because, you know, he can't stay dead. So that was really, you know, something that upset me. I was kind of hoping just a little bit of a thing there. I just wish I could have seen it for just a few seconds would have been okay. I just wanted some little reference or something. But that's the only real con I have of this movie. Now... Before I rate this movie from 1 to 10, I'm going to give you guys a little summary. I wrote this down so I didn't forget anything. Um, It starts off, of course, you know, Wade Wilson is this mercenary, you know, popping caps and taking names and this and that. He met this bitch in a bar, and I'm going by the movie just so you guys know. He meets this chick. And then they end up having a lot of sex, and some of it's really kinky. He actually gets penetrated in the ass, which is kind of weird. But uh, I guess I don't um, judge. Well, I kind of (laughs) do. And then he ends up getting cancer, which actually makes things very bad for the two of them. It puts a big damper on the relationship. Um, Wade really doesn't, which if you guys don't know, Wade Wilson is Deadpool. But Wade Wilson, he's very... um, he wants to keep it to himself. He really doesn't want to put all that pressure on the girl. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to leave. And she's like, no, we can battle this together. And he's like, okay, at first. But then when he's in the bar, somebody actually gives him an offer he can't refuse. That's a Godfather reference for those of you movie watchers out there. Um, he gets offered something. They said that he, they can give him um, this power and, you know, get rid of his cancer and heal him and just make him something he could only imagine, he couldn't even imagine to be. And at first he's like, you know, fuck this, I don't need you. And then he comes home and he realizes, hey, this is, you know, I can't be doing this to her anymore. And he really does love her. He proposed to her and he just absolutely loves her. And that's something he was really missing and he couldn't put her through this. So he just left. He packed up what he had and he left, Um, which was kind of upsetting. But then he was brought into this lab by those people and he was kind of fucked over. He was tortured like they injected him with this stuff, the serum, which was also injected into Wolverine, which is how he got his powers. But that has nothing to do with the story. But he was injected. He was tortured so that the um. So that the stuff would flow through the body and everything. And they actually had him in a chamber for an entire weekend without oxygen. He would just suffer. And this actually made his skin like burn. And he looked like a fucking wrinkled up burnt penis. It was disgusting. And he was hideous. And he remains hideous. And he wakes up because at first they were going to kill him. He says because they were going to enslave him. But you know... He really pissed them off, so they were just going to kill him and leave him in there because even Deadpool can die if he's in, you know, this um, place without oxygen for too long. He lasted a weekend, but he was, you know, suffocating. He's going, <gasps> but then it was just, you know, he they needed to do something. So what they what he did is um, he ended up getting a match from this one girl who looks like a man. <laughs> She really does look like a man, but um, he got this match from her, and he ended up, because he was strapped down, but he had it in his mouth, spit it down to his hand, and then um, turned on the match and threw it into this vent that went to the, um, the injection stuff, and then it blew up the whole place, and then he finally got out, and... Um, then the whole place collapsed, a lot of shit went down, well actually he got stabbed by the guy that injected him, and then he thought he was going to die, but he didn't, he got right up, and then he really wanted to get his ugly ass mug fixed, (laughs) because that's like number one priority, it's not anything else, it's just, let's get rid of this mug, so he wanted to track this guy down, he's um cutting bitches he's asking for where this i mean, ask you for this guy's information he really wants to find out where he is and he finally does he's kicking people's asses and i mean it is a bloodbath he is just slicing and dicing and popping caps it is hilarious and amazing he actually gets shot right up his asshole and he's like oh right up mainstream oh man it was funny but he finally got the guy um this guy actually has the powers as well, but all he got was 
not being able to feel pain. So Deadpool just had him pinned up against the wall. He had the shit. I mean, he kicked the shit out of this guy, and he had a uh, his um his blade through his, the guy's chest, and then um, Colossus and this little his little trainee teenage war, something teenage warhead, um, who she's a total badass. You don't mess with her, just so you guys know. But then they come, and then. They are trying to stop Deadpool and everything, and they get in this argument, Colossus and Deadpool, and that's when he starts punching him and breaking him, his bones. It's hilarious. But um, then they look back, and the guy's gone. So he's really pissed at Colossus. This guy that was actually the guy that got away, he actually ended up taking Deadpool's girl because now he knew who he was. He knew he was Wade Wilson. So then they um, went down to the bar and then they found out that he was with that chick so then they took her so deadpool's like oh hell no so then they went he went back and then this huge thing went go, went on and then they all met in the end it, um and then the, he finally gets this guy i'm not going to go through the whole fight scene but there's it's quite the fight scene it was actually pretty sweet and i got really hyped <laughs> but then he ended up everything's done when everything's said and done you got the guy laying there you got deadpool with his gun to this guy's head okay the guy can die you know deadpool can regenerate after getting shot in the head he got a full-out knife stabbed in his head and he was fine well he started seeing some weird cartoon shit but i'm not going to talk about that um but then after he has the gun to his head colossus is like hey you know, you don't have to do this. Us heroes, blah, 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 blah. He's, you know, there's X-Men bullshit trying to recruit him in this and that. And it's just, um, it, you think that something's, he's going to have an epiphany and you think Deadpool's going to be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's be, you know, a good guy. And then you hear, cat shoots him right in the fucking head. <laughs> and then Colossus starts puking. He's, oh, man, it was hilarious. And, oh. Uh, it was just, it was well worth the money, and it was a great movie. And that's really the end, of course. Um, I don't know how, but that girl actually ends up making out with um, Deadpool in the end, and I really do not know how, because, man, that is a face only a mother could love. Oh, but this... Um, Besides all that, this was an amazing movie, and I'm glad it got created as a huge Deadpool fan. I'm just sad that it took him this long to make. You know, um, from what I heard, Ryan Reynolds actually took 11 years to get this movie made. He had the ideas, he had the script, and he was it was just a big, you know, thing. Him trying to actually get somebody to approve and, you know, get actually buy the rights to the movie and everything so he could actually get it created. And... You know, I wouldn't think it would take that long with a huge Deadpool fan base. Like, when I went to the movies yesterday, the place was packed. They were telling us to line closer to the sides because we they didn't have enough seats for people. This was amazing. And I just I don't know how it took this long to create. But this movie was definitely one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. And this was definitely worth all the hype that we got. And I... Can't, like this is the first time I can say that I went to the movies and I got exactly what I asked for. Usually I'll go there and I'll expect something and I'll get something a little less. No, this went above and beyond what I could have imagined. And you don't even know how hyped I was. So with that said, I am actually going to give this um, movie a 9.5 out of 10. And that is very hard for me because I am a very strict um Raider, and that is a well-earned 9.5. You know what? Right now, I'm going to put a big 9.5 on the screen for the rest of this video, just so you guys can see this beauty. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this, and if you guys haven't seen it, go to the theaters now. It, I'm guessing theaters around you, if it's just a little tiny theaters, maybe 8 bucks. And if you have to spend 20 go spend 20 It's well worth it. You guys have to watch this movie. It's a must-watch. Thank you guys all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and or comment, and I'll see you guys later. See ya.